I think ketogenic metabolic therapy is going to be uh, a, an accepted uh, process in managing the disease. I think, the, I think it's going to come from the grassroots efforts, meetings like this, Charlie Foundation information. I think this is where the public will be educated, okay? Because at the top medical schools, with, barring a few individuals, a few mavericks that might want to introduce or think about this, it's not going to come from the top. It's going to come from the bottom, unfortunately, because there's too much uh, other things, interests other than patient outcome that uh, drive the big med medical establishments. An academic institution, it's a pharmaceutical institution. These are very powerful forces to maintain the status quo. So, but in, in, in cancer, when you have stage four lung, brain, or whatever, you want to live and you want to be able to take something that's going to help you, right? And unfortunately, a patient comes in and says, I, I don't, I'm sorry, doctor, I, I'm not interested in your chemo or radiation, I want to do metabolic therapy. And then they get, they get um, browbeaten or discouraged or ridiculed. There's no evidence to support this. Well, did you read the literature? A lot of these people are reading the literature before the physicians are reading the literature. And you have to understand, they're well-meaning people, but they've been trained, they've been not trained they, they don't understand the biology of the disease they're working on. And that's a tragedy. So you're treating people based on therapies that are not related to the origin or the management of the disease. Now you can kill cancer cells by poisoning somebody. I mean, you can incinerate their whole organ with radiation. And you can, you know, you kill. But, you're, but these poor people are put at massive risk for other kinds of things down the road. Why would you want to do that if you could achieve the same end goal with another approach? What's your interest? What is the primary goal? Is your interest in patient outcome? Or do you have another interest that's not more important than patient outcome? And I think that's the, the question that people have to ask themselves. What side are you on? Well, of course I'm on patient outcome. Well, why are you doing that? It's not related to the origin of the disease. If you're interested in patient outcome, why would you be treating a patient with a therapy not related to what the real issues are? Well, I've been doing that for a long time. What are the results? We have 1,600 people a day dying from cancer in the United States. In China, it's 8,000 a day. Okay, so if, you're, if your stuff works so well, how can we have all these people dying every day? So we can drop that death rate by 50% in 10 years if we treat this disease as a mitochondrial metabolic disease. And those treatments will be working and they'll be effective. No question about it.